Configuring settings for Dell Repository Manager. Repository Manager has several settings that you can work with that will help to optimize how Repository Manager works. Simply go into Applications and then Settings and you can see that there's a number of options for you. Source Repository is where you would go to set a local catalog location if, if you want to uh, utilize the local catalog instead of going to the Dell site to get your catalog. But an important setting is the network settings. In here you can see that we can configure which web download protocols Repository Manager will use. If your company has disabled uh, FTP as an option for downloading files, you can disable FTP here so that Repository Manager does not utilize that at all. You can set the number of concurrent downloads uh, per job to do. And here it's all about bandwidth. If you want to use the minimal amount of bandwidth by Repository Manager, then you would select one. If you want to use all the bandwidth that's available to you, then you would select 10. A good happy medium is 5. And of course, if you're using a proxy server, you can come in, put in your proxy server address and proxy server port, port numbers, and just select Apply. We can check the plugins. And Repository Manager uses plugins to assist it in creating things like bootable ISOs or server update utilities. So you can see what's currently installed and what's available from Dell. And here we're up to date. But if you wanted to uh, go in and check each time that Repository Manager is launched or at some other uh, option, you can do that, that as well. And file store settings. File store is where Repository Manager's database lo is lo located. Every time that Repository Manager downloads a file, it keeps track of that file so that you're not constantly downloading it again and again. But occasionally you get to the point where you have old files that are no longer in any of your active repositories. And Repository Manager makes it very easy to just come over and select clean up. And this will go off and remove all the old files that are no longer needed out of, out of the date database, saving you time and space. And an important setting is the email settings. And this is where you can go in and set your email credentials so that some of the features that use notification, like email notification when a new update's available, or notification when a new catalog is available, can be uh, set. And here you can see we can work with SMTP uh, servers or with Microsoft Exchange. So if you're SMTP, you can put in your credentials, put in your SMTP options, and again, Microsoft Exchange, same thing. You know, what are your user credentials? Uh, what's the Microsoft Exchange options? Not everybody knows what their Microsoft Exchange URL is. So by selecting the auto discovery and then check availability, it'll go off on your network and select what the, what the correct Microsoft Exchange URL is. And of course, Send yourself a test email to make sure that uh, everything is working fine. So those are easy options that you can set with Repository Manager to help optimize how repository works and make and make your life a little easier.